Welcome to another video by the folks at the Suburban Homestead blog. This video is not necessarily a video to uh, teach anything necessarily, but uh, just kind of wanting to document uh, some of the things that go on here at the Suburban Homestead. And uh, one of the things that we enjoy is watching our chickens and the things that they do. We have three older hens. Uh, one of them, this one right here, her name is Cheap. And she is about a year, year and a half old maybe, year and a half old, something like that. Uh, we got her last May and she was a few weeks old at that time. Cheap. Cheap. Sometimes she'll listen to us when we say her name, but other times she doesn't. Anyhow, in my opinion, she's one of the more beautiful birds that we have. And she's also pretty smart and enjoys eating all sorts of things from bugs and seeds to broccoli plant leaves. So, and one of the things that I just noticed a moment ago was our other two hens are over here by the hen house in a uh, garden bed that we haven't really developed yet and they're just sitting there in the dirt and having a great time uh, taking a dirt bath kicking dirt up everywhere getting dirt all over themselves making a huge mess of the bed but that's how they keep themselves health healthy and uh, I guess happy too so uh, from what I've seen and read it's actually important that these uh, that the birds do this uh, dirt bathing because it helps uh, helps them have good organisms from the soil to be on their bodies to help kill off uh, disease and uh, mites and ticks and things like that so it's actually important that they do this it's, it is pretty funny to watch though because uh, they're just rolling around in it and kicking it up with their legs and flapping their wings spraying dirt everywhere so <laughs> it's kind of interesting to watch um, then we have our little chicks Right now they are roaming around the backyard searching for all sorts of good things that they can find. Things like seeds and little bugs and little worms and grass and leaves. All sorts of yummy delicious treats like that. And we've got uh, right here we've got a barred rock. She's the one that's got her hind side facing the camera, it's black and white. And then there's a buff Orpington. She's the bigger one that's kind of ye uh, yellowish blonde. And they're eating there by some peppermint plants. And here comes one of the other buff Orpingtons that we have. This bigger one we think might be a rooster. Not quite sure on that, but we think he might be a he and not a she. Uh, but we'll see. If it turns out that it is a he, we're going to have to get rid of it because our city won't let us keep roosters. In the background, you can see here the uh, watering trough that we have for the chickens. You just fill up the top of that with water and it dispenses it out into the tray on the outside bottom. And then the chicks and chickens get their water from that. You can also see right back here the chicken tractor that we have, which is like a little pen with a roof and grass underneath and a watering trough. And that's what we put the little chicks in during the day if we're not able to be out here to watch them. That way, uh, Predators like coyotes and cats can't get to them. 
I think around here probably the biggest thing to worry about would not be coyotes, but mainly cats and perhaps hawks and birds of prey. So uh, we put them in that chicken tractor occasionally to keep them safe from harm. Over here a couple of the uh, other little baby chicks. We got a barred rock, another barred rock that's right here. And then we've got a Rhode Island Red right down here and she's digging around looking for some bugs and worms I guess. So all told we have eight, I think we have eight, no, we have seven chicks, we had eight but one of them died. And we've got seven chicks and then three full-grown hens. Here's one of the other barred rocks, or uh, barred rocks and uh, Rhode Island reds. So we have a good time with the baby chicks, and we're looking forward to watching them grow up and become hens and lay eggs for us. So that's kind of our flock and uh, our entertainment too, you might say. Thanks again for watching another video on the Suburban Homestead blog.